Coming up on this week's news, the trade welcomes the unveiling of an alternative route to MCS certification. The NIC EIC clarifies the rules for upstream surge protection devices, and Crabtree, Volex, and Applebee are quitting the wiring accessories business in the UK. Welcome to Electrical News Weekly, whether you're listening in the van, on site, or down at the wholesale counter. I'm Joe Robinson, and I've been through the best of the electrical industry news to save you the trouble. And if you think you've spotted the two words that I've been challenged to slip into this week's show, Comment with them below for the chance to win a prize. From this week, non-MCS registered installers have an alternative route to certification. Wholesaler City Plumbing has teamed up with heating firm Vito Energy to launch a heat pump installation umbrella scheme. The plan is to offer non-MCS accredited electricians and plumbers a way to get government grants as well as trade account prices and credit. Under the deal, installers can operate under Vito Energy's MCS accreditation, which cuts their paperwork while allowing their customers to qualify for the boiler upgrade scheme cash. Vito Energy says it will guide and support contractors through every stage of the process. It'll help with the design of the install, the heat loss calcs, and supply you with the software for making DNO applications. Vito Energy also offers a site visit on the first day of installation. Members of the scheme can buy materials from City Plumbing at their usual trade rates. The firms say that most umbrella schemes require installers to buy materials directly from the scheme provider at marked up prices. Instead, members can see the prices of materials and all costs, including the scheme fees, which can be placed on their City Plumbing credit account. You'll also get settlement terms of 30 days. Jez Klimas of City Plumbing says the plan removes the barriers that smaller contracting firms face with MCS accreditation. Currently, the new scheme is available through a number of City Plumbing branches across the south of England up to the North Midlands. It's set to begin rolling out to the rest of the country later this year. I've put a link for more information in the show notes. The NIC EIC has acted this week to clarify the installation of downstream surge protection devices. In an advisory from its principal electrical engineer, Jonathan Elliott, the organisation says a Type 1 SPD or combined Type 1 and Type 2 unit next to the consumer unit is sufficient for most properties with lightning protection. But it says where there is a high value electrical item such as home cinema or a hi-fi sound system, then Type 2 and Type 3 SPDs should be installed close to the kit to be protected. These may be situated in fixed socket outlets or in mobile socket outlet trailing leads conforming to standards or within the consumer unit. If the distance between an SPD and the equipment to be protected exceeds 10 metres, then you must install additional SPDs close to that kit. The NIC says that in the example of a home office, which is more than 10 metres from the main house, a separate SPD should be installed to prevent damage to computers and data loss. It recommends that the additional SPDs are housed in small local consumer units. The advisory also details the differences between the connections and where they should be employed. I've put a link to the document in the show notes and keep your eyes peeled for a video we're producing on this very subject for a CPD with ENW sponsor CPN QDIS. In other news it's been a record-breaking start to the year for installs of renewable tech. The latest data from the MCS dashboard shows that March was the best month of 2025 so far totaling more than 31,000 certified installations up 49% from March last year. Of those projects, 22,000 were solar. Heat pump jobs were up by 22% with almost 6,000 certified installations. But it was battery packs that were the standout story of 2025. Compared to this time last year, battery installations are up a staggering 147%. Total UK jobs are now over 33,000. Lobster and champagne for all. The weather is also adding to the good news. England had its sunniest March on record with almost 60% more sunshine than average. This in turn led to a record average irradiance for owners of solar installations. Power outputs were up over 30% on average. Better still, photovoltaic panel prices are set to fall even further. That's because big US tariffs on Chinese PV are pushing firms to find alternative markets. The Americans dialed up the pain again this week to stop Chinese firms routing cheap panels via second countries. The White House has imposed staggering tariffs of up to 3,500% on solar kit from Southeast Asia. Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia and Vietnam are all targeted. Chinese brand Jinko, which manufactures in Malaysia, will have to pay 41%, while rival Trina, which makes in Thailand, is hit with a 375% penalty. If you are deluged with solar installations, have you considered getting some assistance? American electrical contractor Rosendean is one of the first firms who've turned to robots for help. The company says the bots are addressing the skill shortage as they can position solar modules three times faster than all that human tomfoolery. And as panels are getting heavier, with many weighing over 30 kilograms, the firm reckons the machines are safer too. The robots use a combination of GPS, LIDAR and geographic data to avoid obstacles and position the panels. Rosendin reports that using the tech, the machines can place the modules within two millimetres. 
In a clear field, the robots working with a two-man crew achieved an installation rate of 350 to 400 modules in every eight-hour shift. Further in renewables, ChargeMate has teamed up with Dutch software provider Tap Electric to boost EV charging in the UK and across Europe. The partnership integrates ChargeMate's chargers with Tap Electric's user-friendly app, offering simple payments, live availability updates, and smart load management. Central to this is ChargeMate's Libra DLB device, a game-changing solution for dynamic load balancing. Compatible with any OCPP 1.6 charger, Libra uses real-time data to optimize energy use, supports 4G, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet, and works seamlessly across multi-charger installations, ideal for workplaces, fleets, and public charging. Expect more innovation soon, as both companies continue to develop advanced charging solutions. ChargeMate is set to appear on an upcoming episode of eFix TV on May the 28th, so set your reminders for that one. It's going to be an absolute cracker. And speaking of cracking episodes of eFix TV, last week's was a corker. The Joe Show, hosted by myself and Joe Hammond, featured Green Cable co-founder Ed Nash and college lecturer and 30 Under 30 winner Sol Owen. We revealed how you can earn cold hard cash from your scrap cable really, really easily. It was a lot of fun, and best of all, Rick took on the challenge wall again. See how he got on by clicking the link, which I've put in the show notes. In product news this week, the big story is that the Crabtree, Volex, Appleby, and Britmac brands are all set to disappear from the UK wiring accessories market. Siemens, which owns the brand, says it's pulling the well-known names off the shelf from December. The move follows what the company terms a review of its core activities. The firm will continue to service orders while stocks last up to the end of the year. The Wilex and Siemens circuit protection range are not affected and will continue as normal. Now, welcome to our Electrical News Weekly feature where we focus on a specific product area. This week, we're paying a visit to wholesalers and distributors, the folks whose job it is to get you out of trouble now and again. And we're delighted to introduce a number of new names in the game. Take Future Electrical Wholesale in Bartley County, Durham. It's been started by former Aaron Elliston and Edmondson exec Daniel Tilt. It stocks big brands including Aurora Lighting, Solax, Luden, Univolt, BG, and Hager. To celebrate the launch, Daniel is giving any electrician who opens an account in May an exclusive discount. Simply use the code EFIX20 when setting up the account. I'll put a link to future in the show notes. All the best with the new venture, Daniel. In the online space is electrical to go which is part of the To-Go group. This Challenger distributor has already amassed over 4,000 reviews on Trustpilot, earning it an excellent rating. It prices matches every day and has over a million pounds worth of stock ready to ship. Many items are available for next day delivery when ordered before 3pm. Best of all, if you call them, there's no phone queues or bots, just, you know, actual people. There are loads of payment choices and a super payments option which gives you a 1% cashback on your next order. For eFix viewers, electrical to go is offering an exclusive 5% discount on your first order when you spend £200. The offer is available throughout May. Simply use the code eFix5 at the checkout. Q Electrical is offering an innovative service for contractors who need kit around the clock. The wholesaler has 24-7 lockers where you can simply grab your order when it suits you. For those early site starts, the firm also has special London deliveries from 7am. Q has some other benefits too. It's recently started stocking the popular Milwaukee tools and accessories range and there's a free lighting design service available from its technical experts. Express Electrical Distributors is a more established wholesaler. In fact, the Wigan-based firm was founded back in 1976 by industry expert Simon Jackson. Its other branches include Birmingham, Bolton, Maryport and Stockport. Core product categories include lighting, switchgear, wiring accessories, tools and fixings, fire and safety kit and heating and ventilation. There's free UK deliveries on orders over £150 and next day ordering before 3pm. Finally, we can't have a roundup of wholesalers without mentioning the UK's leading independent, BEW. It's part of the Fijim buying group, which uses its scale to get great prices. Now for the vital stats. The company has 23 branches with two distribution centres in the South and the Midlands. The kit is delivered by 80 vans. There are four specialist divisions, Site Temp, Climatech, Renewables and Lift. Check out the website as BEW has regular breakfast mornings, trade and calibration days, and it offers lots of training courses via its knowledge hub. Its support for contractors includes a half-hour call and collect service, early opening hours, same-day local delivery and nationwide next-day delivery. Now, a date for your diary. The eFix team will be at this year's CEF Live at the NEC on Thursday the 5th and Friday the 6th of June. We'll be on the Marshall Tuflex stand because that's going to be the fun place to be. You can meet darts world champion Phil Taylor and take on fellow darts star Mark Dudbridge in a Beat the Pro challenge to win a top prize of a Red Letter Day experience. If darts isn't your thing, there's also a Scale X Trick Trek. You'll also be able to check out Marshall Tuflex's cable management kit such as the base oil range of cable trays, the fast fix basket and the conduit range with 50% recycled plastic. 
That's our Electrical News Weekly Roundup of products or people we think deserve some attention. Next week, we're shining a light on LED lighting and controls. Speaking of lighting, before we go, a reminder that there's still time to enter NVC Lighting's sales promo with a top prize of tickets to see Oasis. The campaign, which runs until the end of May, rewards you for your purchases. For spends of £250, you get a £5 Greg's voucher. For £400, it's a £10 voucher. There's also 15 prizes a month in Amazon vouchers. All entry goes into a draw for Oasis tickets. I've put a link to the competition in the show notes. Now, our usual reminder that we're in the market for your stories, your projects, and your recommendations, as we'd like to share them with the wider eFix community. Over the next few weeks we'll be featuring LED lighting and controls, software and apps and circuit protection so send us pictures of your installs or let us know if you've come across any new kit or companies that are making your job easier or any products that you think deserve a shout out. And just before we get to your favourite bit of the show where I reveal last week's challenge words and winners, we want to thank our premium partners. We couldn't make the news without you. First up, they're the people who've created the Swiss Army Knife of solar inverters along with all weather batteries, very much the boy scouts of the solar industry, it's Sunsync. Doubling down on terminal screws in their top quality circuit protection products and building innovative isolating units with built-in surge protection, it's Whitecliffe Electrical Distribution. And now, suspend your disbelief like you suspend a cable tray. If you need to get any piece of building service equipment into the there and keep it there, then check out ZipClip. With their new award-winning Lumo consumer unit and offering complete product support from their highly trained team, it's CPNQDIS. Don't forget to use the code EFIX30 to claim your 30% discount on top quality light fittings from Philips and Ecolink. Download the Lumexpert app today and make your life easier and less expensive. It's the light of our lives, Signify. And the best thing to come out of Yorkshire since stainless steel, the home of EV Ultra and other groundbreaking and quality products, it's Doncaster Cables. Click the links in the show notes to find out more about these great brands. If you think you know the words I've smuggled into this week's show, pop your guess into the comments. We'll take all the correct guesses and select one at random to be the winner of an eFix goodie bag prize. Answers submitted after about lunchtime on the Thursday after release will not be entered into the draw. Now let's reveal the winners of last week's Challenge Word competition. Last week's words were funk and shrubbery, and we're getting right answers from LinkedIn all the time now, so keep submitting your guesses on all platforms, folks. They all count, and they all have an equal chance of winning. This week, the first name to come out of Electronic Hat was Christian Ooks, so well done to you. Make sure you click the Get Involved link in the show notes to claim your prize. Thanks for listening to this episode of Electrical News Weekly. Make sure you subscribe to receive the next update. Thanks for listening, and until next time, have a great week. Stay safe out there, and remember, there's no such thing as a torque-calibrated arm.